Up until recently, we have generally thought about chromosomal instability as, as a mechanism to generate uh, genetic heterogeneity and genomic heterogeneity because, you know, by its own definition, chromosomal instability is uh, a process by which every time cancers, uh, cancer cells divide, they shuffle and missegregate their chromosomes. So, you know, instead of having 46 chromosomes, uh, 23 from mom, 23 from dad, cancer cells end up having you know, 72 chromosomes in one cell, 65 in the other cell, 100 in the cell next to it. So there is a lot of heterogeneity that can serve as a substrate for natural selection, which, as you know, is the process by which tumors, um, you know, evolve. And it's an important process. But in, in addition to this, uh, there's been an appreciation that chromosomal instability can also uh, generate chronic inflammatory signaling, chronic inflammation uh, in the tumor. And this is a, through non-genetic means, and, and it's through the exposure uh, of sometimes this, through this chaos, sometimes chromosomes get exposed to the cytoplasm, uh, eliciting uh, an inflammatory response because the cell thinks it's infected by a double-stranded DNA virus, but really the double-stranded DNA is coming from its own genome. Um, and so this uh, understanding of chromosome instability now opens up a whole new area of both, uh, you know, a mechanistic understanding of how it shapes the tumor and the crosstalk between cancer cells and the tumor and immune cells in the tumor microenvironment, uh, and also um, 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 uh, areas for therapeutic interventions. So, you know, a big question in the field now is, is understanding how cancer cells are able to survive and thrive in this inflammatory environment. And if we understand this, then we can devise therapies that can selectively target the means by which they adapt to chronic inflammation. And the interesting thing here is that normal cells that don't have chromosomal instability don't have this kind of uh, inflammatory uh, chronic inflammatory response. And so therefore, these therapies should have no effect on normal cells and should be selective to chromosomally unstable cells. So I think, you know, uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, I think the, you know, progress that was done over the last, you know, five to 10 years has really started to make us optimistic that chromosomal instability is now becoming a targetable alteration that can be selective to tumor cells and sparing uh, normal cells. And so we'll hopefully see a new class of therapies emerging from, from this understanding.